Welcome and we're pleased today to give you an update on the Perennial Value Australian Shares Trust, Trust and our market views in general. And um, I think at the end of the day, it's all about delivering for your clients, about the investment outcome and results. And you can see from the chart that if you invested 100,000 at inception, after all fees, we've managed to accumulate that to about half a million dollars, which is fantastic and well ahead of the index. Well, joining me is John Murray, the Managing Director of Perennial Value. Welcome, John. Thank you, Brian. Great long-term results. Just quickly tell us how the business is going. Uh, the business is in very good shape, Brian, is, is, is the short summary. Um, and a couple of points I would make. Um, firstly, the, uh, the team, the senior members of the team have uh, been with me for well over a decade, so very low turnover, key to any business. The second point I'd make, and it's just as important, is in terms of portfolio management. If you go way back to day one when I started Perennial Value in 2000, I was a sole portfolio manager. If you look at the team now, we've increased the depth of the portfolio management discipline. Within Perennial Value, we now have five uh, portfolio managers within the team who are supporting me. So, uh, And the final point to make, um, uh, just as importantly, uh, in terms of our stock research, Brian, I think, I think it's the best it's ever been. So our, our important bottom-up stock research disciplines have never been stronger. So in summary, the business is in very, very good shape at this point in time. Well, we talked about the longer term numbers, but investing, you know, it's a long term game. But let's, the last five years, I think, is interesting. <laughs> and if you, if you look at it very simply, it's probably been four years that have been very difficult uh, compared to a history for value managers of yeah. one year that's been okay. So four yeah. out of the five has been quite difficult. Yes, Still yes. managed a 12% return ahead of the index. Tell me about the last five years. Yeah, sure. So the, as you say, 12% per annum over the last five years, given that the majority of that time has been, uh, at value has been out of favour. So, you know, we, we, we'd like to think that's a very, very solid result. Look, a couple of points again. Um, we've stuck to our stock selection disciplines. Mm. We've been true to Labor as a value investor. Um, and, and, and that's it. Um, uh, you know, as your question, tell me about the time. I mean, certainly looking back over those five years, there's been some really, really tricky and difficult times mm. during that period. But that's when you need the courage of your convictions. And I think we've been able to show that at the end of the day with that, that solid outcome we've delivered for clients over that five year period. Now, sticking to style is important, but what's the one thing you've learned from the last five years? Yeah, sure. I, I, it sort of comes down to two words, <laughs> um, uh, which I know many have heard me talk about before, and that is that's capital preservation. Mm -hmm. So, you know, fundamentally what we're looking to do is buy good businesses for good value. That's what's underpinned those returns since inception and over the last five years. But on the other side of that's capital preservation. Preservation, and that's avoiding the big, bad, ugly mistakes. Um, and, and, and I'm proud to say that you know we, we, we'd like to think we've done a reasonable job in terms of staying away from the disappointments. And there's been many of them over the last five years. Dick Smith, uh, Certex, mm. TPG, Bellamy's, Murray Goulburn, uh, Vocation, a whole range of examples there. But our stock research disciplines have kept kept us out of those uh, those investments. So uh, capital preservation uh, is a key. Well, as we're filming this, it's very close to the, it's the end, end of the financial year, three more trading days to mm, go, mm, and mm. it looks like we'll produce about a 15% return for investors, mm, which is mm, great, and that'll mm, mean mm. that we'll, we've outperformed the index in terms of financial years 13 out of the last 17, which is nice mm. and consistent. Mm, mm. But let's talk about the future, next mm. financial year. What do you see in terms of stocks and themes? Yeah, sure. Um, and and I, so in terms of stocks, in terms of just to give you a brief overview of the portfolio right now, less in banks compared to 12 months ago. And we know all the reasons why we should be feeling a little bit negative about banks at the moment. Resource stocks, um, as many um, of, of viewers will know, uh, we always have a very limited number of uh, stocks in mm -hmm. the resources sector. Our two biggest holdings at the moment, Rio and Woodside Petroleum, underpinned by unbelievably strong balance sheets. So w therefore, where's the rump of the portfolio? It's essentially in good businesses, good mid-cap industrial mm. stocks, Brian. Just a bit of a snapshot there, stocks like Caltex, Clydesdale, Crown, Lendlease, Boral, mm. Amcor, those sort of stocks. They're the key sort of holdings we have in the portfolio at this point in time. Um, a final point to make just in terms of a theme there, um, is that our view is that the uh, rate of economic growth in, in the Northern Hemisphere countries, particularly the US, but also to a lesser extent Europe, is those economies will grow at a, at a greater rate than the Australian economy. So where we can find good businesses that are good value, um, that have overseas earnings, we're kind of leaning towards that, and, and some of the stocks I've already mentioned is companies like Lendlease, Macquarie, Boral and Amcor. Uh, so hopefully that gives you a bit of a snapshot of the portfolio as it stands at this point in time. Thanks, John. Um, thanks, John, and thanks, thank you for listening. Um, if you have any questions, please contact your perennial investment specialist or go to our website, perennial.net.
www.ngnetwork.au. Thanks again.